President Joe Biden on Thursday, April 23rd, defended his decision to withhold American troops from the mission in the beleaguered Caribbean nation, expressing deep appreciation to Kenyan President William Ruto for the upcoming deployment of Kenyan police to help kill gun violence in Haiti. The United States has agreed to contribute $300 million to multinational force, including 1,000 Kenyan police, but Joe Biden argued that American troops in Yeti will raise all sorts of questions that are easily misrepresented. The Democrat took office in 2021 after two decades of conflict in Afghanistan and Iraq and vowed to end U.S. involvement in so-called endless wars. Yeti is in one of the most unstoppable parts of the Caribbean, Biden told a press conference with Rutel, who was in Washington, for the first state visit of any African leader to the U.S. since 2008. Roto, who was honored by Biden with a lavish state dinner on the White House grounds in the evening, also gave a speech on climate change and met with former President Barack Obama. Roto is facing legal challenges in Nairobi over the decision to commit Kenyan troops to a conflict thousands of miles from home when his own country is struggling to cope with economic and security challenges. According to Roto, his nation believes that the responsibility for peace and security Anywhere in the world, including Haiti, is the collective responsibility of all nations and all people who believe in freedom, self-determination, democracy and justice, and that is why Kenya has taken up this responsibility. Some analysts declare that this move could contravene a Kenyan High Court ruling in January that found the deployment unconstitutional because Kenya and Haiti lack reciprocal agreements. An agreement was signed in March before Ariel Henry resigned as Yeti's Prime Minister in an attempt to salvage the plan.